Hey guys, welcome back to Washington Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the Rockefeller Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space and not just the asteroids but we also have this little spacecraft out here. It has been going pretty strong for quite a few cycles now, going around mining from the, uh, the, the, the ore field that we have out here, the cobalt ore is its main target. Unfortunately it's not the main thing it has but it's the main thing that we are after. Uh, it flies back to a Pyaxlin, lands here, and then fully automatically refuels all of its materials and uh, fuel and food and ev everything else just kind of gets dealt with and it is beautiful. But that's not what we're dealing with today. No, today we are finally making our way from the starting asteroid, the very asteroid that we began our trip on. We, uh, we're we going to make our way up to the surface. It's about time. Now we've got a bit of a gas situation over here. We've got gases transferring heat from the magma, which uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, magma, it's quite a hot material, uh, and if it's got any way of transferring its heat to our duplicates, they can take quite a bit of damage. Thankfully, the, the gas is leaking through these holes that we've put up into space. You can see that the gases are just making their way out there and disappearing off into space. But we, we need to get to the surface. We need to get to the surface. If we come over to Pyaxin, you can see that there are these things in the game. They're called interplanetary launchers. They can take materials from uh, various inputs that we can we can give to them and then they fire them via, uh, across the magic of space. Uh, this one in particular is going from Pyaxlin over to Irigal uh, and then it will uh, land down as a small bullet. I don't think there's any hanging around at the moment because we are choked by the amount of radiation we need for it. Uh, we then use payload opener to open it but the uh, reverse lint is completely disconnected from that entire system and we, we really need to get in there and make that happen. Unfortunately, Reversling runs on a very small skeleton crew. Here we've got Rutherford and then up top we've got Boar. These are the only two, the only two duplicates here at the moment. Uh, Boar does the cooking, Rutherford does the farming. Uh, Boar also does a little bit of science when it is needed. But because we've got such a small crew, we are forever pushed, forever pushed. So I think what we need to do is go over to Pyaxlin and maybe poach one of the people from over here. It's not going to be able to be a permanent movement uh, because unfortunately uh, they're, they're just not making enough food over there at the moment. I think maybe they will be eventually. What is happening around this archway over here? All these uh, creatures must have just made their way towards the door. That That's fine. It, it, make, it gives off light, you know. Uh, where, where is the light switch over here? Uh, you can see it gives off light, so I should imagine they were uh, attracted to that. Anyway, Curie has made her way into the teleport pod. Uh, we are going to take her apart atom by atom, quark by quark, elect Electron by electron and fire across in as a beam of light to the other asteroid where we put something that at least looks like Curie back together on the other end and uh, she, she has all the skills that Curie had so that's pretty good. Uh, Curie, oh, she's going to go build this. Great. We've been wanting that to be built forever. Uh, so actually it is kind of connected to the payload system. Mm, okay. Uh, I've not seen them pick anything up from up here but it, it's definitely been a thing. The, the next thing we need to do is to try and get Curie up and in here. Unfortunately, Boar is causing a little bit of trouble on that front, but I think I'm okay to leave him to it because at some point this is going to be filled all the way up and then we're going to know more about this sulfur geyser. So I've done a little bit of maths in the background and I've noticed they'll give us this average output anyway. Uh, but five kilos for 325 seconds, that's like roughly 1.7 tons. It's just over 1.7 tons. Uh, now that only gives that about once a cycle. 600 seconds is a cycle we got 779 uh, so it's 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 a little bit more than 1.7 tons with a little bit over a little bit more than a cycle. So it's about 1.7 times a cycle is what I'm going to work it out at. But of course, whilst it is dormant, uh, we uh, we will not be getting any more sulfur out of there. And sulfur, of course, is our main food source for these grub grubs and the grub fruit plants. Our newest source of nutrition on this place. Look at him eating the sulfur that we've got hidden up here. Uh, I'm not sure... Yeah, people are coming along and sweeping this, but more importantly, body temperature. What is wrong here? 54 degrees. Is it really that hot over here? The thing is, I do know it is really that hot over here. Uh, we've, we've been trying to cool the place down, but we've only got a small loop working at the moment. 
I think we could probably make great strides in this problem if we just make this a cool loop here. Hopefully this will be this will start to take all the temperature out of this area right here and maybe we can pull the temperature off of there somehow. Uh, just, just bring the average temperature down all the way around it. The place that we're getting serious problems from is up here but I don't think heat is able to pass any of these barriers at the moment. So it's just coming, the, the, the heat source is just coming from the machines and uh, the, the pipes are purposely running behind there to specifically deal with that. Pipes that go through this thermal aqua tuner which dumps heat into the steam which then the steam turbine turns that into electricity. It kind of kills all the heat in the in the area and we get some power out of it so that's, that's pretty tasty. Whilst Curie is waiting to be able to get into that top area, she's uh, going around performing quite a few jobs that need doing actually, so we'll, we'll, we'll just leave her to that I think. Whilst we watch Curie go around and make sure that all the tiny little things in the base are taken care of to make sure it all runs smoothly, I would like to thank the people that make sure my life runs smoothly. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names are the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation. It is only thanks to these people's generosities that I'm able to actually commit the time that I am. Uh, boxing not included is quite a long game to play as much as I do enjoy it. it it's uh, quite hard to fit into my schedule. So I'd like to take this moment right here and thank them all from the very bottom of my heart to give me the priorities to do this. So thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so with Curie being the one to get hold of the suit this time, let's start thinking about other things that we want to do here. I kind of want to push up here. Uh, we're going to dig this one. It's going to be dangerous, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, and we're going to start... Give me obsidian tiles. Thank uh, thank you. Start pushing our way in through like this, right? That, that's that's the only thing that we can do now is start dumping stuff. We're going to melt some wires and, and some stuff. But uh, hopefully we will be able... Ooh, what's going to go on with the, the, the gas? is here we got 56 uh, on one side and we yeah we pushed that back up to grams that's there's a little unfortunate this is one of the reasons why uh, I want to make a sealed off unit here is so that why are you grabbing copper uh, where, where are you going what's so important this is so important is that hot copper that's that's kind of the thing I'm worried about here how hot a copper is it it's very hot copper uh, it didn't flash any of that into steam okay that's good we, we got like active cooling systems everywhere so that's fine. It was only 20 grams. Oh my gosh. Well, is that worth it? Was that really worth it? Okay, we may have caused some problems by using obsidian that was far, far too hot. Yeah, let, let's get Curie out of there. Hopefully she's just going to go heal. Uh, and whilst that is happening, uh, the, the cooling should hopefully take care of that a little bit. I, I wish... I wish that was the case. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I might have to try and figure out a way of getting cooling actually up and into this area. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to that's be very awkward. Very awkward. Okay, because we're at very thin amounts of oxygen on the outside of the door and quite a lot on the inside. It's also cooler on the outside of the door than the inside. I'm going to ask for this to be open. I think that's the only way that we can solve this issues. I kind of don't want to make them panic yet because Bore is very, very close to having all the details of this, uh, this, this geyser here. So I, I would like to get that first and then hopefully on the way past he's going to be... Doing the doing the door now? Okay, well, we might we might need to just be like, hey, do that door, please. Thank you. Okay, so with this open, this should hope. For, I mean, we got 11, 1100 degrees on one side, fourteen hundred on the other. Uh, the ga these gases should be now rushing out, uh, and we're gonna drop that down to so thin a gas that it hopefully doesn't pass its uh, temperature on. Plank has returned. Okay, he's land. He's landed. I didn't see. Oh, oh, actually, it says he's back out, but he's he's really not. Bit, a bit of a glitch there. Bit of a glitch. I wonder if he's inside the cabin. Uh, no, Reub Ruben's inside the cabin. Well, I mean, good luck. You sh you shouldn't be the one there though. <laughs> I wonder what's going on there. Oh, here's Plank. I was, I clicked on the wrong uh, ash, uh, wrong rocket. No, no, I did click on the right rocket. Plank's in the wrong rocket. That's weird. Well, thankfully, everything is automatically uh, refilling and uh, people will be along to do the, uh, the the food. Okay, that's great. Getting more cobalt by the second. 
Okay, so interesting. Now, now that the geyser has been fully researched, um, we can look at the average output, and this uh, includes its dormant period, 1.3 tons. Not too far off the uh, the hypothetical limit without it being dormant. Okay, that, that's that's interesting. That's very interesting. What does that equate to with our food, though? I, I actually don't know. How much grub... How much does the grub fruit plant eat? That's uh, 10 kilos per cycle. And how much does the grub grub eat? Uh, let's have a look. Sulfur, 50 kilogram per cycle. What about the sweetles? 20 kilograms per cycle. Okay, there's some numbers there that I'm sure at some point I'll do some maths with. Anyway, with Curie in the the uh, hospital bed, Rutherford has come along to do the thing that he's been doing for so long now. That's right, he's going to try and push the, the magma back with the power of building. He's dropping dropping items everywhere, but I'm sure it will be fine. We've got some very, very hot obsidian around that we do need to worry about, but I think for the moment it's actually working out kind of okay for him. Let's uh, put, the, put those two uh, ladders down there so we can join this whole system together. Yes, flow lava, flow, magma. I've got to call it that. I, I don't, does anybody know the technical difference between magma and lava? Is it like magma underground and lava on the surface? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like if I push it up on onto onto the surface, will they rename it to lava? Is that is that something? I think, that, I think that's a mod idea right there. If you can see the sky, suddenly it's lava, not magma. Rutherford decided it'd be a good idea to jump in the magma to get get some equipment. Not not the smartest move, mate. Not the smartest move. Thankfully, as Rutherford is walking past, Curie is very, very close to being fully healed again. It might take maybe a fifth of a cycle before she's uh, up and ready to roll again. Yeah, she's, she's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Indeed, about 20 seconds later, off she goes. Good good work, Curie. Good work. Generate power? Yeah, okay. And then once we've pushed all of this magma over this way, we're going to start crushing it on this side as well. This stuff we're just going to get rid of. Uh, I, I don't see any way of really salvaging it, uh, which is a tiny bit unfortunate. I would like it to add to our Ignis rock stocks, but nah, we're, we're just going to have to do without for now. Maybe not build that ladder straight away. Ooh, we got a... We got we got a we got a problem over here. Go go, Curie, go. We need to uh, fix that like right now if we can. Not not looking forward to having magma just dropping around everywhere. That's uh, that's definitely not great. Can we can we get get to a little faster, please? Uh, I mean, okay, if you got got to pick up bits from everywhere, I understand. And then we just fill this in, and hopefully we got ourselves a nice little dealt with. Uh, area okay that's nice that's nice are things gonna just cool down if i do this or is it all just gonna fall down here which which would actually be pretty bad i'd have to then build a tower a tile here and crush it or something like that I, yeah I'd, I'd have to try and figure out another way of dealing with it if this does what i oh uh, uh, thankfully actually we can cancel because it condensed okay great where's kiri going now no 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 we're we're going up this way Let's get rid of these and then dig all of this out. We're also going to want to get rid of that and then start building these up here. We're going to want to push all of these this way, but we, we've got we've got to get in behind it first. So I'm going to leave this tile here. Maybe replace it with a with an obsidian tile like that. Yeah, that that sounds like a good idea. Uh, Curie, can I please just convince you to come back up this way, please? All right, brilliant. Thank you. Okay, we are 100% going to be encountering an issue here. We can't get behind this bit of magma. And in fact, I don't think we can even get around it. Okay, so we're going to have to somehow try and figure that out. We're going to do that mostly by coming up here and going around on top and trying to push this back. That one block of magma there might be Curie, please. No, no. Uh, let's, let, let's turn those off. She's now going to be in trouble because her suit's hot. 
Uh, okay, let's let's just move her out of here. I think I think that's probably the best idea is just bring her this way. Let the suit cool down. Um, she's gonna she's gonna be taking constant damage on the run, unfortunately. But this should then make the suit nice and cool afterwards. Okay, that's that that's good. That's good. We're gonna come out here. Let's have a look at the uh, the temperature of the suit. Oh no, the suit's not hot. So why? Why was it still causing her damage? Is, is she hot? 37? I mean, maybe. Maybe. I think it's 40 where it happens, so uh, maybe. Oh, we got our first grub fruit. Okay, that's great. That, that's beautiful. That, that's really amazing, actually. Ah. So grub fruit, what, what are we going to do with it? Can we can we use it down here? Swampy delights, that's bulk jelly. We've got uh, roast grub nut, grub fruit preserve. We need to get the grub fruit and the sucrose, which means we really need to be farming these guys as well because they, they eat the sulfur. Uh, so, I mean, one thing that I have noticed is this space over here is almost exactly 96 tiles, which is the size of area we need for a, uh, a good sweetle farm. So if, if I was to just do... We don't, we don't even want that type of floor. I just want a normal type of floor. Uh, let's just drag that across like that. Maybe put a door in place somewhere over here. I mean, it would ideally be from this side, but um, carbon dioxide. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll have ourselves a Sweetle Ranch just for making sugar. I think I think that's a good idea. Okay, we've started to bridge out over the top of here. I'm actually going to take the... Oh, Kiri, Kiri, please, please no. Why, why would you do this? Okay, let, let's take those bits of obsidian out there. That's, that, that is so bad. So, so bad. Thankfully, we're just adding more magma down below. Hopefully... She, oh. She's going to be chill. It's not going to be chill. Get out of there. Oh, Kiri, you're just... You're causing a lot of problems, I've got to say. I've got to say. <laughs> let's let's get her out of there. She's once again in trouble, and she's actually quite a distance away. So if we just move her over there, hopefully this is going to be fine. She's not going to be having too many troubles before she gets there. She's about halfway through how much life she had left. Oh, this is... This, as long as she passes out no further away than this, this is fine. From there, anybody could have grabbed her, thankfully. Oh my gosh, that that was that was troublesome. Troublesome. The good news though, Rutherford's been going around and doing some, some rather nice building here. Good work, my friend. Good work. We're totally gonna cheat. I'm gonna turn these two problems into one problem and then just build back from that way. I think, I think that's probably the way. Obviously, we're going to have to try and still get in there and let's uh, build. Let's just go up one more. I, I feel like that's kind of safer that way. And then we build a tile in there and that should... Can they reach from there? I think they can reach from there. That should be good. We're going to have to leave that one block of magma there. There is almost no way that we're going to be able to make that work to, to, to build under there from any angle that doesn't put the duplicate in magma. Just, uh, now that Plank's off on his way again, making sure that we've got enough gristle berries at the beginning of our flight here, it turns out, yes, yes, we're doing, we're doing well. So the, the whole automatic rocket thing working very, very well. One, one job, Rutherford, one job, and you still somehow, somehow, look, no, no, let's, let's not do that. Let's just let you go up and across. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just going to move you out now. I know how this works from here. Let, let, let's just let you run away because you are going to need it. Very much so. What a guy. What a guy. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to try and do this a different way because he just keeps coming back. So we're gonna try and remove everywhere that he can reach. Okay, I, oh, I might have left this too long. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna be in trouble here. Let's try, we've got an extra atmosphere suit. So grab that, bought, wear that. We're going to turn this off. Okay, here comes Boar. He's going to turn this off, and then the next thing we're going to do is get him to put an Atmo suit on. Oh, he's, he's going to go save his friend first. That's not quite the order we want him to do that in. Okay, well, he's decided that saving his friend is more important, which I understand as long as he doesn't end up more damaged. Okay, we're going to have less, uh, more than half health left. That's that's good. That's good. Combat, don't worry about the combat. That is just uh, clearing up the fish tank. There was lots of different fish in there, and we only wanted the one to turn the polluted water into clean water. Okay, so that's pretty good. Wh where else was yellow alert? Let's turn that off. That's that's not needed now. In fact, we're going to unassign that and bore 
carrying Rutherford. We've done this so often. I'd equip that clothing. <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> that was his nice suit. No. <laughs> Why do I equip the, the 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 suit, not the clothing? Uh, so if we get the Sazzy suit, where where is Boar? Uh, not Boar, Rutherford. There we go. All right, everything should now be fine. <laughs> It's been a couple of cycles and I've managed to stop the duplicant from burning themselves on the uh, on the magma here. In fact, for long enough that all of the uh, the duplicants are now up and running around. We've got Curie going around doing a bit of building. We've got Boar doing some farming and of course we've got Rutherford over here also doing the farming and the, uh, the the ranching here. We've got some some sweet tools that need moving. I don't know if there's a way. Uh, this this is the button we need here. Let's, let's just get everybody on that immediately if we can. I also see that we needed to move this across. Uh, let's go nine. Hopefully we're not actually calling Curie across. Of course we were actually calling Curie across as well, but that's fine. We've got no problems with taking this in stages. Uh, we are of course going to start building this wall all the way up here as soon as we get this last tile up over this way we'll be ready to go with that uh, and I'm really really looking forward to getting some of the sugar from these sweet tools the uh, sugar from the sweet tools with the grub fruits over here go together in the grill I believe to make some grub fruit preserve uh, which we actually can make a little bit of now I was kind of hoping uh, if we look at the priorities that boar would be on that straight away where's the cooking a uh, low priority compared to research that's the wrong way around must have changed that at some point in the past hopefully now he'll be coming along to do the the fixing no he's he's continuing on with the farming i mean i suppose that is kind of important I didn't know any had been actually made, but here's Boar carrying some grub fruit preserve. I believe the most important thing about this is it's ridiculously long shelf time. 32 cycles compared to, let's have a look at barbecue. Uh, four cycles. Four cycles. Of course, this is uh, before we get to refrigeration and deep freeze temperatures. Minus 18. I think we can achieve minus 18. Petroleum will go down to minus 57. And what what about crude oil? Let's uh, let's have a look at that as well. That will go down to minus 40. Yeah, we could definitely achieve minus minus 20 degrees temperature in a specific place. A totally important detour to bring this pump over here onto the power grid because this. This has just been left on its own for far too long now. So I'm just, I'm just bringing the spline along the top, making a new power corridor, uh, and then running a bit of regular wire up to the pump. And with the last bit of wire in place, this should now be up and running. We did have a dead battery, but now we're going. 9.4 micrograms. Guarantee that's going to go down to zero very, very quickly. And then we start to face the same problems on this side as we are on the other side. Where's all this steam come from? I suppose the steam was here first. We should probably aim to, uh, to shut this door. Thankfully, here comes Curie to do some work out this way, so uh, shutting the door should hopefully be nice and simple. We don't want to completely stop her going in and out, but we just we don't want the uh, the steam coming in here because it, it's heavier than oxygen, and if it falls down, where's this carbon dioxide come from? Honestly, where? If the steam was to come down here and condense into water and fall onto where this petroleum is, it could push it away and then something hot could come in, uh, get passed through. Perhaps uh, one of our duplicates carrying uh, a couple of hundred kilograms of very hot obsidian could come through, flash that into steam, and then we've just got a through way of gases here. And that's what we're trying to avoid. Uh, Curie making very short work of the remaining building uh, that needs to be done out here. I think I'm just going to go through and completely rip those out. Uh, the only thing I really want to do with any sort of haste is to build this obsidian tile here to uh, to completely crush that piece of of magma. Uh, it's it's not it's not really necessary. Uh, let's also it's not necessary to keep it. It's just going to make everywhere hot, and, and I don't I don't want to make everywhere hot. Uh, let's also put the uh, the alarm on to close that up before the steam makes its way over here. 
Okay, this should get rid of this last bit of magma that's in our way. I'm just going to actually bring that up like this. I don't see any reason not to just make my way out there, build the wall, and then... Uh, like we don't need to continue crushing up. There, there's no there's no need to do so. In fact, I might even just continue this ladder straight up like so. This is the, uh, the, the closest thing we can come without hitting a piece of neutronium. And, and this would then breach the surface. I think we need to build a small structure up, up the top here. Okay, we're most definitely going to need something more thought out than this. We're probably going to put some sort of airlock system over here. But this is a nice little welcome dome. Maybe we want to change these top ones into glass if we can. We're almost definitely going to have to build ourselves a... Where, where's window tiles? I don't... Excuse me, I don't have glass. I'm sure we can fix that uh, almost instantly. So we have Rutherford on the glass kiln making ourselves some glass blocks whilst uh, Curie up here seals off this area. We're making good progress. Good, good progress. Ah, good. We've got eggs in the incubator. This means at some point soon we're going to have to decide what to do with the excess meat bags. I think over here we might be able to find some way of uh, processing them. I believe the accepted term is evolving them at the moment. Uh, so up here you can see I've, I've immediately upon building the first dome decided that actually it needs to be lined up with uh, with this wall here. So I've put a second door in place so that will limit the gas loss. Uh, we will eventually of course build a fancy uh, airlock system here, but that, that's going to be a little way off. Uh, one more crazy plan, crazy plan before... Where, where's Curie going? Uh, going up to make the doors, that's fine. Uh, before that we actually finish this little job off here, uh, I want to grab myself one of these automatic dispensers. I meant to press B, not space. Uh, and then come up to our nice little uh, our sulfur area up here. This area basically has a nice heat sink on of a water water pool here. Anything nice and hot that I put in there will cool down uh, and we can turn into power that will uh, make sure everything is working well. We have an excess of obsidian that is just a little bit too hot. Just a little bit too hot. So I, I think I would like to try and dump as much of that as I can into this water and see how that can handle it. Hopefully it will handle it really well. I like these, uh, these different patterns that we can do on the drywall now it's very very cool very cool Curie's about to try and approach to build the automatic dispenser I'm interested to see what's going to happen with the gases okay yeah we're going to blow out quite a lot of gas uh hundreds of times more oxygen than there is sulfur so I can I can totally see why it did that little inconvenient going to get even more so as we go through i believe it's raw mineral obsidian uh, i suppose we should say sweep only uh, and then just just start grabbing a load i mean it's a, it's a lot of obsidian it is a lot of obsidian i'm a little unsure what's going to happen but let let's see Curie's like, no, no, I'll get to it when I can. Thanks anyway. I don't care about your alarms. Uh, but let, let's see what happens here. Of course, we're going to have some abyssalite. That's going to be hot, but it shouldn't be a problem, right? We'll, we'll, we'll turn it off for now. We'll turn it off. The reason it shouldn't be a problem is because it has like zero thermal conductivity. So it, it, it won't be able to uh, spread its excessive heat around, uh, which is the, the problem that I'm worried about. Okay. So down goes quite a bit of obsidian. Uh, we've, we've got some steam being made. I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm hoping that will condense fairly quickly in the environment that it's in. Uh, did, did it dispense? Did it throw on the floor? It did. The obsidian is chilling rather quickly, but is it got chilling quickly enough? That's the question. The uh, automatic dispenser, I feel, got quite hot then. Uh, maybe just the contents uh, 
passing out. Let's let's see. This is this is all condensing quite well. A little bit of steam did manage to escape, uh, but here comes the next batch of obsidian. Uh, this is just just gonna have to be the way it is i feel just gonna have to be the way it is close the door everything's good but turn that on to a nine we'll, we'll just let people get around to that as and when they can and with this last window tile going to place we should technically be airtight should we should we test that i think i think we can test that is kira gonna immediately go into build no 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 no, no. We, we want you to, to do this thing please if you could uh press f4 we can watch some of these gases escape up into the oh there was a bit i forgot of course there's always a bit i forget uh let's put that there let's go hey could you get on this pretty quickly please i believe there is plenty of obsidian around to be used yeah there we go okay beautiful i don't know why she decided all the way down there when there was some more oh this is igneous rock okay i i now understand more this should now give us uh, if we look at gases yeah a nice airtight seal as long as someone doesn't stand you know just in the doorway keeping the door open and letting all of our precious precious oxygen gas out into the the vacuum i mean that's good work curie that's good work Okay, we're going to try something here. We've got a little bit of sulfur, a little bit of steam, both uh, being like sort of uh, kept alive by the power of the surrounding uh, heat. What I'm going to try and do is something we've observed. When we build a new ladder, it comes in at 45 degrees every time. Don't don't go that way. Not not yet, Curie. Please, if you could. Uh, so I'm wondering whether the uh, the lowered temperature from the ladder would be enough to condense the materials around. Let's press F4. Let's see. No. No, the ladder is indeed 45 degrees, but there doesn't seem to be all that much temperature swapping with the environment, which is a, a little unfortunate. I mean, it's kind of working. I just, I am watching it go down very slowly, but it, it's so slowly. Let's go with a, a few more ladders. Let's see if we can do anything like that. It's unfortunate this, uh, this tile here is uh, sat here. Maybe we can make another tile. Uh, then break this one and rebuild it. That, that might be a way forwards. The tile has a lot of mass behind it compared to the ladder. 200 kilograms as opposed to one. Double, double the mass. Well, the sulfur's gone somewhere. Is, is that this it up here? I don't know whether that's it or not. What is Curie doing? Just just hanging out there. That's, that's interesting. I hope you don't intend to just idle there. That's a bit weird. Let's, let's move her out of there. Oh, she can't get out because of this bottom. Okay, I, I see. And now she should be able to just walk free. Wonderful. We've had a pretty successful day today. We've managed to get ourselves a new type of food, grab fruit preserve. We've made a new way up through to the surface. I'd like to really get enough materials to put another dome over the top here, but we are waiting on the glass. Turns out it's a bit of a bottleneck and we're waiting for the duplicate. As soon as Curie has come along and built this airlock, I think we're going to relieve her of her burden and send her back from whence she came. She came from Pi Accident. It's a much nicer place over there whilst we have made this place nice enough for her to survive without going insane she, it's not really the best place over here and really really we need to be able to leave this slot for the duplicate open uh, for another farmer we definitely need to have another farmer over here so if we can find curie we're gonna we're gonna send her home but I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we are going to... Well, I we, we could be taking some uh, some sleep wheat on. We could be definitely dealing with how we're going to, uh, to, to deal with the deviants. But the most likely thing that we're going to be doing is getting the interplanetary network up and running for slight, for some other places. Over here on Paxton, we have a good system with rad bolts. But I don't think Blagolia really has any sort of receipt. Uh, Everything, everything's out of power over here. Eragal doesn't have any sort of way of sending over. So I think that is the thing that we will be doing next time. And I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.